Anyway, he's I, not an investigative reason, reporter. I brought you all here. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. John, is there I have was a feeling what's going on? There was an article in the New York Times. Oh, about okay. the Comedy Cellar. Yes. Anyway, yeah, let's talk about that. All right, so okay. let's go to this. I don't want to name names, but here I got to take my glasses off to read this. Name to prevent. Anyway, so he <laughs> says this is Saturday night. He goes yeah. in a night. This is his reporting, mm -hmm. which I'm calling fake news. Oh, right. I saw that tweet of yours. Okay, in yeah. A night, in a night rich with Trump jokes, mm -hmm. this comic, I'm not going to say his name because uh, he, let's just put it say he's not white, he's not black, okay. he's not a woman, he's other, but he's very distinct looking. I mean, I'm really glad you guys are laughing. Sometimes I get on stage, people are scared. <laughs> oh? Yes. Okay. Does the most overtly political set with densely densely argued premises and fewer punchlines. I'll say zero punchlines because I was watching it. It was more of a rant. This no, it wasn't a rant. It was like a it was like a, a honk, a chunk of material that got nothing. Which is it was it was even, jokes. Not even a political applause break. No, no. This style tends to work better in alter alternative rooms than in clubs. He describes the president as the head of the white civil rights movement and explains that there are four kinds of white people. The first, he says, are the white devils. The crowd gets quiet. He smiles. First of all, the crowd was quiet the whole time, okay? So, because it turns out I was on next. Uh, I went down there. No, when I'm next, I go down. So you're watching the whole thing. So I go down to watch. To, if I'm next, I go down to watch. And plus, he was the first guy in the late show. So I got nothing else to do. I don't want to sit and talk to Ben Bailey upstairs. So I go downstairs. Right. And uh, Steve, talk it to the fucking mic, Steve. Sit it up, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So anyway, so he, uh, so I'm down there, and I don't know what time I turn my tape recorder on, how, oh, late, how deep into the set, mm -hmm. but but I'm taping my set. So when when I see the MC, I usually, I usually cue my uh, just to make sure it's on. Yeah, to make sure it's on. Yeah. So uh, so if he gets off quick, and then he bring me right up, I have to be filling with my phone. Right. Anyway, so he goes way long. I have it all on my all on my phone. Mm -hmm. He does. I have seven minutes of him on my phone. Three mild chuckles in seven minutes. And it's not even funny. It's just all political. It's about like how, you know, white people are bad and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so he, he bombs. I'll call it a bomb. Mm -hmm. This guy's calling it, uh, uh, it, you know, it doesn't, it tends to work better in an alternatives. I don't know where this is. Is he work. auditioning? Oh, uh, no, he passed. Really? And the crowd gets quiet. He smiles. Mm -hmm. he, he ends with, I mean, I have it all on tape. I don't, I don't know if yeah. I have permission to play it, but anyway. Right then he goes, then he goes, Kevin Brennan walks on stage, looks at a guy in the front row. He's already... He's he goes, already Kevin Brennan walks on stage, looks at a guy in the front row, mm -hmm. says, you the white devil? First of all, it's not that simple. The guy, I, I walked up to, like, death, okay? Mm -hmm. The MC brought me up. The MC brought me up. And, uh, you know, she did a joke. She did fine. She did a joke. And, you know, she she wasn't going to manage the whole room because he was, he, he was the first comic and he did a long set and bomb. Who was MC? Lisa. Okay. So then uh, she brings me up. She does She does a good job bringing me up. Then I say to a guy, you know, I, I can't just go right into material because the crowd's like not in the mood for that. Right, you have to Because I'm a professional back. comedian. I, I've been in that situation. I know what they need. So I'm, I talk to a guy in the front. He's a good looking guy. I go, blah, blah, blah. Oh, nice haircut. So you're the white devil? Big laugh. He doesn't mention I get a laugh. Then he says, <laughs> then he goes, when a joke, then, then, then he says, Brandon walks and says, looks at a guy in the front row. You the white devil, big mm -hmm. laugh. Okay, yeah. it's on tape. I got it on fucking tape. You then when it, then the next line is when a joke earns a groan, he quips, "I'm going to bring back the other guy." First of all, I didn't I didn't, I didn't do a joke that got a groan. I I was talking to the crowd after mm -hmm. I said the white devil thing. I said to a guy, uh, or I said anyone from the south just setting up a joke, an easy joke right. of mine. I had anyone from the south. People are kind of getting a little bit rowdy. So I go, I go, calm down or else I'll bring the other guy back. It wasn't a joke. I didn't get a groan. So this guy with his fucking fake news, I mean, it's totally fake news. So my point is, did he record the set or does he go by memory and just basing it on his memory and then and then hopefully he's right? Because he's he never mentioned, he never mentioned I got a laugh. When I listened to my set, this guy did set. I have seven minutes of this guy at my tape getting three little laughs. And basically, it's all like nervous laughter. It wasn't like a laugh off a real joke. Right. Just like the nervous, like when he's when a guy's ranting and then he stops or whatever. He well, he ends with he ends he ends with thanks for the laugh, thanks for the laughs. I love you. And then he does with the fucking dumb thing with his like 
when you win an award, you you tap your heart or whatever. Mm. It's like first of all, there's no laughs, and you don't love them. It's like it's such it's such fucking bullshit. But he doesn't he he makes me look like the dick. Like I he never mentioned I got a laugh when it, when a joke earns when a joke earns a groan he quips I'm going to bring the other guy back. That's it. That's it. So that's he never mentioned I got a laugh. He mentioned the the, the guy before me gets a laugh with densely argue and fewer punch signs. Does. I mean, the crowd gets right. quiet. You know, I'm guess- I mean, I, I've I've been to shows with this guy from the times before, and um, if it was anything like the shows I've attended with him, he doesn't record them. He he has a notepad and writes down notes. So yeah, what's the name of the reporter? Can we say that? Because I know a lot of guys that I read the I actually read the you know bylines the guy, right? on people. Yeah. Jason Jason Zinneman. Zinneman. Yeah, he just wrote a uh, a new biography about uh, Letterman. Yeah, you read it. I haven't yet, no. But it's uh, gotten great reviews. It's a bestseller. What's the point of the article? It was a, uh, the, he was spending a weekend at the late shows at the cellar. Okay. Which I don't it's know. Lenny's on, Lenny's on the, in the picture, which made me, people are like, oh, you must be furious. First of all, that, that's Lenny's fucking wet dream. You know what I mean? Lenny all wants, all Lenny wants to do is, is, is that, is be like a regular at the cellar, which is right. fine. But it, it doesn't pay my bills. I, I can't make it. I can't just be doing three spots a night at the cellar and then it pays my bills. So I guess Lenny's uh, independently wealthy. Here's the point. Here's the point. The guy is it, now I know why Trump says fake news, because it's like that's not what happened. Mm. Like, that's not what happened. He, he never mentioned I got a laugh. He never he they, clearly the guy was bombing, bombing. I think it's a disgrace that information that was false and fake and never happened got released to the public. And you are fake news. Your organization's terrible. Your organization's terrible. Let's go. Look at these people walking. They're probably all dead. It's the Brian McCarthy interview show with me, Brian. I'm doing my own theme song. And there's Adam, and that's probably it. Nobody gives a shit. We're all gonna die. I, I go to a club. And-